Black Clover. Um, we got oh, two yeah. of these chapters this week. Sorry about last week. Um, we're going to start with Black Clover. Sorry. So, uh, we're we're sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Black Clover, chapter 273, Day of Destiny. Um, Zeno, another character named Zeno, I think, in this series. He's the bone man. He walks into this weird dark laboratory bone guy. to find this scary <clears throat> scientist man who looks like the guy from Soul Eater, uh, Frankenstein. Uh, has this character shown up before? I feel like I'm supposed to be like, oh, they got this guy? Uh, yeah, I don't remember him, but like they said, he was involved in the Diamond Kingdom fiasco. With, remember the fire girl with the dragon and... The stone guy was the diamond guy. Yeah, yeah. Stopping them. Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a situation. Yeah, uh, he's created this like healing tank for Dante, who's healing up Goku style in this tank. Yeah, and he cannot <laughs> wait. He's just like, ooh, I can't wait to fight oh, that ooh. boy again. Ooh, that's all. Who did he fight about. before? He fought Asta and Yami. Yeah. Oh, okay. but he's over it with Yami. He's like, all right, I see what you got. I want to fight that kid again. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile. <laughs> Back at the uh, whole, the battle with Asta, his training thing, uh, we don't get to see his new form because as, like, we're getting there right at the end of the action, there's a big cut on the wall from uh, his use of his power. And he manages to kind of graze Noct. Um, and Noct is like, nice, I lose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. And they're like, cool, so let's go. And uh, Noct is like, no, you're still not ready. Um, so I'm going to let you stay here and give you an opportunity to make a cool shonen entrance later. <laughs> and, uh, and Asta's like, bet. <laughs> I really like not, man. He reminds me of you. <clears throat> me? Like, if you was a character in this, almost because he's like, because he's not mad hype. But when he, when, uh, all right, it's the way he came to the realization is how he was saying, like, he was, he was, he was like, he was talking about it very, very level-headed, like, yeah, breaking down what happened. Like, okay, yeah, he avoided hitting me directly. You know, he just busted out that move, but, you know, he was able to, like, still have such a uh, mighty control of it, et cetera, et cetera. Anti-magic, I knew it. If he uses that at full power, then he will be the strongest. But he's like, <laughs> he's not saying that, like, oh, man, he'll be the strongest. He's like, yep. I figured that that shit is OD. <laughs> it's fucking anti magic. He's going to be unbeatable. Yeah. Which is what do you think, right? In a series where everybody uses magic and your power is to cut through that magic like a hot knife through butter. Yeah. And cancel it out. You win, my nigga. You just need to make sure you're good enough. <laughs> GG, my guy. You win, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he says, I lose. And so are these other guys Yeah. <laughs> when you're ready. So yeah, Noct basically is like, stay here, train for a little longer, and we'll get it. We'll get the party started. And um, yeah, Asta's. Uh, this is a little cool moment where he's like, "You were born without magic by accident. You were possessed by a devil, devil, and you toyed with fate by with unforgiving fate. But you were always right." And I guess that's true. I don't think there's a point where Asta was ever wrong. I guess right as far as his mindset yeah. and his outlook on life. I think he was saying, I agree with you, and I acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. Like, Because he kind of, you know, Knight, I mean, Light, whatever his fucking name is. Like, yeah. He kind of, you know, he kind of made it seem like, no. Yeah. That's wrong. You know, he, he made it seem like that wasn't the case. Yeah, for sure. But he had to do it to make sure Asta's mind was right before he let him know that, no, you're good. That is the way to go. But you're soft. Soft, soft you boy. You're stronger. Um. He leaves Guido Mello there so he can continue training. Uh, and yeah, he, he fucks off. He's going to get the party started. And the chapter ends with a two-page spread where all the Magic Knight captains and, and you know standing there like, let's and you go. Know. He's not a captain. And the yet. other guy in, the, in Soul, Mr. Soul Cycle, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Moped. Mr. Moped. <laughs> uh, Million miles on the moped. Yeah. And that's where that chapter ends and where chapter 274 begins. This is Black Clover. Chapter 274, the battle begins. Uh, and this is the audience voted RGC. Of the Certified week. RGC. Whoa. RGC. It was cool. I liked it a lot. RGC. A lot of Black Clover fans out there, honestly, on the Twitters. <laughs> I was going to give, I was going to make this the, um, I was going to make this the RGC when I rescinded. it. Because I thought, oh, you, I was like, you know what? We did read Black Clover this week, and it was pretty cool. Like, I, I like I like how it was flowing. 
Yeah. Um, but you know, this was Jujutsu, a Jujutsu anyway. This was a tight, tight, tightly contested one. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen was a close second, I believe. Um, okay. With Black Clover won with forty one percent of the vote. Jujutsu Kaisen won with thirty four percent of the vote. Uh, second place, Chainsaw Man was seventeen percent, and uh, My Hero Academia came in last. Um, I don't know if like you guys got to vote if you guys want to change that. Uh, follow our, us on Twitter at New Gym City, um, because that's it's always disproportionately either Chainsaw Man or Black Clover that wins, and I guess those are the two <laughs> most vocal fan bases. <laughs> Ironically enough, because My Hero Academia fans seem like the loudest fans on the planet Earth. But um, in any case, this is Black Clover, <laughs> uh, chapter two hundred seventy four. Last we left off, uh, the again the Magic Knights are getting ready to go, uh, and you know we're all getting little character moments to kind of introduce us to or reintroduce us to folks we haven't seen before in a while. Uh, there's this new guy named uh, Maxa, I, or at least I don't remember his face. He's, yeah, I don't think he's that important. I think he's just someone that came to co-sign and it was like, <laughs> fuck off. You're not part of our little crew. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah. The guy from, I guess, uh, that the first, the buggy of the series, essentially, this guy who just gets dragged <laughs> Mr. along. Mr. Soul Cycle. Yeah, Mr. Soul Cycle. He... Mil- mil- million Mile Moped. <laughs> <laughs> he get, he's like, I can't believe I'm here, but the king ordered me to come here. I was just, I was happy, you know, and um, basically Nock tells him to sacrifice himself for the pe- for the people who are right, because he knows, like, you're going to die. You're not strong. Yo, he straight up told them, we know you don't have much in the way of skills. Sacrifice yourself for the sake of the people who are right. What? <laughs> say, what? <laughs> Plain face. Like, yeah, that's your role. Don't worry. Yeah. I. That's all you need to do. I smell character development coming soon for this guy. Um. But in any case, they're gonna they, need a guy to get away. Yeah, they open up the portal and they head off. Meanwhile, the resistance in the Spade Kingdom pull up to the Dark Triad's headquarters, and they just start popping off. They're like, "We're done with taking your shit." Seventeen years ago, you killed our lo- our king, Lord Lois, and many of our commanders. Lois is such a weird name for me to say. Uh, hmm. And now it's time for us to throw hands. Let's go and. uh they know why they're there. They're not there to do anything crazy. They're there to basically be a distraction <clears throat> so that the Magic Knights can come in and do their thing. Yeah, they've really taken one for their kingdom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, it's a lot like that moment from Attack on Titan where Aaron leads his soldiers to certain death. That's basically what we're, what they're doing. Um, it's a great show. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> oh, remember that? Yeah. That happened early, too. No, that happened later, dude. I don't know how far you got. It gets pretty wild. Anyway. Oh yeah, I have. I, they they where I'm at. They just snatched them up and brought them to the forest. I don't know where they're going. You gotta. I don't know why. Damn dude, but, you gotta catch up. Yeah, it's I know so it's good. been a long time, bro. I'm gonna get back to it's it eventually. Crazy. That and Hajime no Ippo. I'm so behind on Hajime no Ippo, man. Anyway, I don't even know where to read it anymore. The last side is down. <laughs> I was thinking of reading read it. On. I was thinking of reading it from the beginning. Why not? Uh, anyway. Back. Where anyway? We'll find. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. The fans are listening. <laughs> we can't. We can't. Um. Anyway, so support your mangaka for sure. Even though we can't support Hajime no Ippo's mangaka from here, because he doesn't have. That's not our fault. He doesn't have an English so. release. Hint, hint, Viz. Get on it. <laughs> yeah, I, Americans love boxing. For real. Um. All right. Anyway, back to back to Black Clover. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So this fucking back at the village, this mystical demon appears. I think this is the giant demon the the scientist guy was referring to. Giganto Machia. <laughs> no, yeah. this is the original demon. Remember the, the skull thing? Is it that that like the huge skull that had the sword on top of it? Yeah. Now, what's his name? Came that's out the of Clover that is that's supposed to be either a replica of it oh, or the you're right, demon. You're right. You're right. Wow. Look at it. You can see the three, uh, the three eyes. And stuff. Yeah, because Leech wasn't the demon; he was possessed by the demon. You're right. Um, yeah, it is. It just pulls up and it starts causing havoc. Um, and man, everybody's like, "Yo, Space Kingdom, are you gonna do anything about this? This demon's about to fuck us up." And he's like, "Yeah, but you know, you guys aren't the Spade Kingdom. Those that's river reserved for the strong." Zeno, heartless dude. And um, 
as this demon is just approaching and all hope seems lost, that's when a fire thing just comes blasting into his face. And who is there but Mario Leona? Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. liked it. Marilina Kempachi. Yeah, I really love Mario Leona, so I'm glad she's back. And she is kind of the Kempachi of the series. Um I'm I'm glad. Yeah, that was this is a cool couple chapters. I think this is why it won this week cuz I guess Mario Leona is a very popular character. As she yeah, should be. And, and you know, a traditional shonen uh you know, character comes out on the Berserker, scene, nice you know? little cliffhanger. It was dope. It was fire. I I'm excited. I'm excited for the next chapter. And if you get me excited for the next chapter, that's a huge point. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Black Clover is great. Uh, really quick because you know not a lot technically happened, but you know it doesn't need to be five volumes of stuff in order to be great. Black Clover was exactly. very fun to read. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was Black Clover. 